Hey y'all, welcome back. What we're going to go over today is actually uh, an odd uh, issue at the elbow, which you uh, usually don't see very much. However, I have seen it uh, in, in a few people with you know wrist and hand, elbow, uh, maybe even shoulder issues. And, and what that is, is, is it's called an adducted ulna, ADD ulna. And what, you, what you'll notice is typically um, we'll look at somebody's carry angle and you know it's, it's not unusual to have this abducted appearance at the elbow to some degree that's normal right that's the carry angle but what we will notice on some people is that uh, one side might look like it doesn't have a carry angle at all or if it is it's very minimal and in that case you know you can check extension you can re you know check flexion to see if there's any limitation with that but because of the movement of the ulna when you're pronating or supinating what you'll see is because the ulna has lost its ability to glide lateral to medial on the humerus, you can just palpate here and, and feel does that have a glide to it. And because of how the ulna and the radius move with pronation, that pronation is usually gonna be limited because the ulna can't, can't glide that way from lateral to medial to allow this twisting. So the person will have some limitation of pronation, and when you keep them in pronation and you feel a glide, it'll feel hard, it'll feel very stiff. And obviously we can compare that to the opposite side. So if that is the case, we can get here and, and just be here and mobilize it, but that's kind of a longer lever, so I don't really wanna choose that if I don't have to. If I have him face me, just slightly, right there is fine, we can keep him in this pronated position, I can tuck his distal wrist, distal forearm in my, uh, in my side here. And then from here, I can get the same grasp with my right hand on his ulna. So I'm behind the radius with him in pronation. And then my left hand comes above the ulna on the distal humerus here to provide a block or a backstop. And so then with him, uh, close to a full extension, maybe just slightly away from it, I can again feel for any glide or lack of glide that way. And then the thrust is to get here, we can do our pre-manipulative hold just to make sure this isn't gonna aggravate anything with his hand, his forearm, his shoulder, head or neck or anything. And then the thrust would be here and just a very brief movement from lateral to medial with my right hand, with my thrusting hand, and, and not much is occurring with my left hand. So it could be here trying to stabilize and not let that happen, but really the thrust is just a quick movement from lateral to medial across the elbow that way. And so then when you do that, you can go back and recheck a play, and then you can go back and recheck pronation, which usually it will improve pronation very quickly. If it doesn't, you can keep them in full extension and just do a little bit of a contract, relax, stretch, and hold, bring them into pronation stabilizing here at the proximal ulna and then just have him try and supinate against your resistance so you re resist and as he relaxes you just take up the slack and try and bring him further into pronation and so then afterward you can go back and look see if the carry angle uh, changed usually it'll change and you'll notice wow they have a carry angle again which is not in, in and of itself is not the main point of doing this the main point of doing it is because they have a lack of a glide at their humeral ulnar joint and a lot of times that will limit pronation. So if you're working on somebody and they have limited pronation, this could be something that happens. Now this isn't something that happens very often. A lot of times you'll see a different dysfunction called an abducted ulna, abduction ulna, in which case we can show another video of that later on. But this is something that you run into once in a while. It's a little bit more uncommon, but I just wanted to show you a, a quick, easy treatment for that and how interrelated this could be to wrist and hand problems, shoulder issues, the whole upper extremity, the whole upper quadrant. So thank you. As always, appreciate you guys watching. If you have any suggestions, let me know. See you next time.
tell me if anything bothers you as we get pressure that way.